this video I'm going to install uh, MS-DOS in a virtual machine powered by Oracle VirtualBox. So first we need to download a copy of MS-DOS. I'm using archive.org and I've already searched for uh, MS-DOS version 6.22. Uh, you can find here a number of uh, different uh, installation files, also manuals and so on. I'm uh, using uh, this one, I've already opened it here. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description for the video. So, uh, first you need to download it. Uh, here are download options. Uh, it says ISO image. There are actually uh, three files. You need to download them. I've already uh, downloaded them, so I have them here. And uh, you can see that uh, even though it says ISO files, uh, these are actually IMG files. Uh, they have 1.4 megabytes, so uh, this means these are actually uh, floppy disk images. So we have three uh, floppy disk images, and we need to take this into consideration when creating our virtual machine. So now I'm going to uh, Oracle VirtualBox. I've already opened it. I pressed on the new button. Uh, I've already uh, written here MS-DOS 6.622. Uh, now uh, it has here an option uh, to select an ISO image, but uh, as I said, these are not ISO files, so uh, you cannot select them. Uh, here type uh, other. Actually, uh, in my version of uh, VirtualBox, when I wrote here MS-DOS, it uh, automatically selected here type other and version DOS. But if uh, this is not the case for your version, then you need to select here other and version DOS. And it also says that uh, no ISO image uh, is selected. The guest OS will need to be installed manually. Okay, that's great. Now, uh, we need to specify some memory. Uh, VirtualBox already uh, selected uh, these settings for us, uh, 32 megabytes, uh, one CPU. Uh, actually, you can uh, reduce uh, these values if you want. Uh, for example, I'm going to specify here 16 megabytes. You can also increase them depending on the application this, that uh, you want to run. So next, now uh, it allows us to create a virtual uh, disk. Uh, it's already uh, selected uh, a virtual hard disk of 500 megabytes. Uh, actually, I'm going to set it only 100 megabytes, but again, depending on what you want to install, uh, you can uh, create a larger or smaller disk drive. I'm just going to make it 100 megabytes. Uh, this is not needed only for uh, MS-DOS. So for MS-DOS, you can go with something like uh, maybe uh, 50 megabytes. But uh, in order to allow to install additional applications, I'm just going to create a disk with 100 megabytes. Also keep in mind that uh, MS-DOS is not able to access disks uh, in uh, the order of uh, tens of gigabytes, so don't uh, overdo the disk size. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to click next, <coughs> and uh, now the uh, virtual machine uh, will be uh, created. So uh, we can see it here. Uh, now I'm going to press on uh, settings. And uh, what we need to do is go to storage. Uh, we already have a floppy disk controller here. And uh, we need uh, to attach an uh, image. So I'm going to choose a disk file, disk. So uh, 
this is the folder where I have my uh, images, my uh, DOS uh, 622 images. So I'm going to select disk one. Okay. And now I'm going to start the virtual machine. And in order to make it uh, appear uh, larger, uh, here in the view, I'm going to select scaled mode. Uh, it says here that uh, to get back uh, to Windows, so we should press right control. Okay. Now I'm going to maximize this window. Okay, and now we get this uh, very nice uh, big screen with. Uh, MS DOS. Okay, I've also uh, hidden this uh, right panel here. Okay, so uh, now uh, we see uh, MS DOS setup is already started, uh, so we need to follow the on screen messages. So enter means continue. Configure unallocated disk space. Okay. Now it's formatting to drive. Of course, this is very fast. Now we need to select uh, date time. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's not using uh, four digits for the date time so it says 24 instead of 2024 so you may want to change this a bit and uh, maybe uh, mention the year uh, 99 or 98 I remember there was a lot of uh, discussion about uh, year 2k bug back in the day and uh, this is it because uh, after 99 uh, there will be uh, zero zero so the year zero and uh, for some pro for some uh, progress this may uh, be challenging okay so the settings are correct uh, where you want to place your MS-DOS files, uh, they will be placed in uh, C-DOS. Remember, this is inside the virtual machine, it's not on your real computer. And now it's starting the installation. This goes quite fast. Uh, normally, if you would be using a real uh, floppy disk, then it would take longer. But now it says, please insert uh, set up disk 2 into drive A. So what we need to do is get back to uh, the virtual machine manager. I'm going to place to press uh, right control. This uh, released my mouse. And now uh, I'm going back here. Uh, press on settings, storage. And now I'm going to change uh the disk image and i will select disk 2. okay now it continues Okay, it's still copying files from the second disk. We just wait a bit longer and soon it will ask for the third uh, floppy disk. Here it is. So please insert setup disk 3. Again, uh, the right control button will release the mouse. Then I'm going to 
or I click virtualbox manager click on settings storage the floppy disk choose disk and I will select disk 3 this is the final disk so again press enter now it's going to copy files from the last disk okay. um, and soon it will complete this is a lot a lot faster compared to actually starting from real uh, floppy disk okay so a couple more files still remaining already 97 percent 99 percent remove all disks from all floppy drives and then press enter so again uh, i pressing uh, the right control uh, this released my mouse I'm going back to uh, here press settings storage floppy okay uh, remove disk from virtual machine okay so now it says empty okay and now back to the virtual machine and i'm pressing enter so ms dos 622 is now installed on your computer to restart your computer press enter okay and it started and uh, this time it booted from the virtual uh, hard drive inside the virtual machine so let's type dir uh, it created the usual uh, files there is this dos uh, directory let's say cd dos dear dear slash w dear uh, start dot exe slash w okay now uh, we can see uh, the various uh, executable programs that uh, are available uh, as you can see there is also a uh, qbasic executable and so on so uh, have fun using ms-dos in a virtual machine in a modern virtual machine and don't forget to like and subscribe so thank you and see you next time bye